Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome. Oh guys, we have a special live stream. Hudson's today. here. Most importantly, Hudson's here. Guys, we are in one of the most gorgeous go city. Um hold on, let me see if we have internet. First of all. Okay. Yeah. We're holding on by the skin of our teeth. Hey, Nick G, we have a special live stream today. We're at the Lot New York Palace Hotel. And we have a special, special treat in store today. We're gonna just show you around the lobby of the hotel because it is gorgeous. This hotel is a mansion, a literal mansion that was built for a railroad tycoon, Henry Villard. He was one of the nation's most prominent financiers and he commissioned the architectural firm of McKee, Mead and White, um, who was spearhead, spearheaded by Stanford White. You know, Mr. White, he uh, does also designed the Tiffany Building, the Washington Square Arch, and they designed this mansion. It's so grand. It's actually a cluster of brownstone townhouses that were designed for separate sections of several families. It was originally called the Villard Houses because it was constructed for Henry Villard, and it's the Neo-Italian Renaissance tradition. It's a historic landmark now, and it was built, constructed in 1882, but it's been operating as a hotel since 1980. So we're gonna show you around, it's gorgeous inside. Hey Alicia Riggs, hey D. hey Treaton 62. Look at this fireplace, guys. Wow, and look at the artwork up along the corner. Yeah, I think there's a zoomed in, James. Okay, hang on. Oh no, no, it's not, it's, it's just we're so close. Look at Hudson, he's here with us because Hudson's a service animal so he can go wherever he wants. But look at Hudson. Look at the marble, I mean, I mean, I've never seen a, 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 a more beautiful hotel. I can't show you everything because our Wi-Fi will cut out, but I just want to show you one of the rooms that you can rent, like if you're having an event. Isn't it amazing? So this was all part of Henry Villard's mansion. He was a prominent financier and was involved in the railroad. And we got some special guests. Yeah, plus we have special guests that we haven't even revealed yet. Look at the... Hey, Sharon Armstrong. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. I'm gonna show you a little bit, little bit more. Oh, the Villard Ballroom. Do you think we can show that real quick? Yeah, it's real quick. Okay. I'm gonna try to make sure. I, yeah, don't worry. Hudson's here. This is the ballroom, guys. The Villard Ballroom. Wow. Look, there's a swag bag. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Okay, so without further ado, let's show you the grand lobby. Look at this, guys. Yes, it's the Lot New York Palace Hotel. It was originally a mansion built for Henry Villard. Look at it, even the telephone. Gorgeous artwork. Isn't it stunning? The bar photo? The bar? Yeah, put it up later. No, should I see if we could peek in the bar? Guys, we're gonna see if we could peek in the cocktail bar.
Isn't it stunning? The, all the artwork is original. This is all commissioned for the volunteer. I'm whispering because I, I don't know why I'm whispering. No one else is here. You're right. Why am I whispering? Isn't it? It's stunning, right, guys? Absolutely stunning. Okay. Yeah, Nick G, couldn't you just settle right into the bar here? I believe the rooms run around $2,000 a night at this hotel. Okay, so that completes our little mini tour. Now, we must introduce our special, special guest. Oh, wait a minute, James is saying. Look at the walls. Look at the ceiling. Yeah, this is... Go up a little more so I can see the ball. So the, this building is actually owned by the Archdiocese of New York. They're the owners of the land. And they cleared the way for the hotel development. The building itself was constructed in 1882. And it's in the Neo-Italian Renaissance tradition. And the hotel opened in 1980. And when they were renovating, they, they carefully, they made sure they were careful with the railings and decorative plaster work, the paintings, the chandeliers, everything. They put them all back to the exact position once the renovations were complete. So now, without further ado, I want to show you our special guests. Look who's here, guys. Look who's here. All the way from the UK to NYC, the Burgess family, Joe Burgess, there, and Hudson saying hi. Hudson's here, of course. Oh. Just got in last night, right? Yeah, so guys, tell us uh, how a long journey from the UK. You, they just got in late last night. Um, <laughs> After I, you were delayed around an hour and a half, but they're all settled in New York. They're going to be exploring. We're going to have a special, special little live stream together, showing you the gorgeous lot, New York Palace, and we're going to walk to Rockefeller Center. But look at this, guys! Look at this. He's settling in on the marble. I just want to show you what's going on here. Oh, Kieran Hook says, hello, fellow Brits. <laughs> Nick G is saying hi. And Kishan saying hi, Gian PS30. Marjorie saying hi, George Lopez, Rosalind Brown. They love the style, very chic. Emmy saying hi. Sweet P. Dexter loves the chandelier. Chaotic Kitty saying, oh, it looks breathtaking in here, guys. This is so breathtaking. Tiger Lily 2013 said, oh wow. So listen guys, we're here at the Lot Palace Hotel, courtesy of the Burgess family. And 
they've um, invited us to, to look around and the concierge at the hotel was nice enough to give us a very detailed history about it. So while we're going to go get something to eat together and go explore around Rockefeller Center, but I'll talk more about the interesting past of this hotel because it wasn't always a hotel, it was actually a, a mansion built for Henry Villard. And I mean, it's, it's actually so stunning, so stunning. The, all the interior sections of all the different rooms were relayed precisely to the same pattern position to reproduce it because this is a landmark. This is an interior and exterior landmark building. So without further ado, I think we should, I think we should head to, yeah, I think we should, we should head out and we're going to go by St. Patrick's Cathedral because it's actually the Archdiocese of New York that owns this building. So I think it's fitting that we check out, check out St. Patrick's Cathedral as well. So this is the grand lobby area. James, I want to just show the lobby. Sure. If you're going to check in the hotel, this is the lobby area. And yeah, well, so we're going to be heading out. And we're so excited to, to the Burgess family is here and oh, we're, gonna, we're not going to use a revolving door because that confuses Hudson. Go ahead. It's hard for Hudson to use a revolving door. You know, Hudson, it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's too much, a revolving door. But this is the Lot New York Palace. I mean, and it's, it's, wouldn't you say appropriately named the palace? It looks like a palace, right guys? Yeah, so fancy. So guys, the Lot New York Palace is situated uh, right on East 50th Street and Madison Avenue. And they have a courtyard, but the courtyard is, is undergoing construction now, so it's not really um, you know, open to the public to, to stay at. You might have seen in past live streams, James and I have showed, not, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, they have a gorgeous Christmas tree that they always install in the courtyard of the Lot New York Palace. But it's been undergoing renovation. It's like always a work in, in progress. You know, when you have a historic structure, it always needs attention. But literally, it's right opposite St. Patrick's Cathedral. See, here's St. Patrick's, guys. Oh my God, look at this, guys. Look at who's... Who's, he's on the catwalk. He's on the catwalk. Oh, yeah. He's, he's strutting his little stuff on the catwalk. So, James, let's show where the courtyard is and then we'll go to Rockefeller Center. Sure. We'll wait right here. I just showed a courtyard. Oh my God. Tiger Lily 2013 just gave us 899 pounds. Oh, wow. I've never heard um, you mention that Hudson is a service dog. What type of service dog is he? Yes, he's a service animal. I had him certified as a service animal after I had a very bad accident. And um, he helps me tremendously. So guys, this is the courtyard, but it's not really, you know, it's under, it's undergoing renovation now. So you can't, you can't see it in all of its beauty. But that's the courtyard to the hotel. And then it's literally right opposite. This is St. Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, even the scaffolding is beautiful. Listen, you can't just put up ramshackly scaffolding for a beautiful hotel like this. Even the scaffolding has taste. So the Archdiocese of New York actually owns the property, the, the land that the Lot Hotel stands on. James, Tiger Lily uh, 2013 just sent us a super chat, wants to see Hudson. Oh, here's the Hudster. And she didn't realize... Let's yes. head over. So guys, we're going we're gonna to head over to Rockefeller Center now. We're going to go straight across the street to the Rock. Yeah, this is St. Patrick's Cathedral here. And then we can go the, the entrance to the ice skating area where they have the, where they have the food court now is right there as well so it's really you picked a perfect location joe joe Burgess has been here before to to new york city but she's never stayed in this part of town she usually stays by times square so this is all a new experience to her and she's loving it you know they're just they're a little jet jet lagged you know as as one should be when when taking a, a long flight but guys this is so great and the weather is perfect. It's, it's not 
too hot, but it's not cold. It's just right, I would say. Like, what is the temperature today, James? 50? 50? 54 degrees Fahrenheit, guys. James, and then I'm going to need your phone. Have you guys been inside St. Patrick's Cathedral yet? No, only when you took us. Oh, just during the live stream. Oh. It was last Easter. Right, yeah. We were that we couldn't believe that that we were able to see that mass. And then, oh, DJ just sent us $10. I'm ready for this tour with your guests. It's going to be spectacular. Oh, thank you, David Jasper. Thank you so much. It's so sweet of you. So maybe after we get something to eat, if you want to peek into the St. Patrick's, that's it's open. You can go in. But you guys must be starving. So we'll we'll we'll. I think we should eat first. Church afterwards. Right, James? Eat first, church afterwards. So guys, this is a beautiful St. Patrick's Cathedral. Hudson's getting, Hudson's, Hudson's just sniffing around like always. <laughs> There's Mr. Hudson. He's, he's sniffing. Uh, I want to show you something, guys. Joe, where's that little ball, that furry ball on your, on your bag? I want to show you something. Do you see this, guys? Hudson thought this was a toy for him. He was trying to get at the little reindeer ball that Joe has attached to her bag. It was so silly. I wish you had seen it. This was off camera, of course. We didn't show this silliness on camera. Oh, Mark and Sharon um, Armstrong are saying hi from the UK. Hi. hi. Wait, wait. We gotta, we gotta put Joe on the spot. She's gonna, she's gonna. You won't hear a New York accent. You'll, you'll hear a, a nice proper uh, British accent. Hi. Say hi to Sharon. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing great. Everybody loves her accents. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, we think it's charming, and then. Uh, I mean, I, I have a wicked New York accent. Oh, see, that's the side entrances too. Do you want to peek in now or you want to do it after we eat? We'll do it. We'll do it. After we eat. That's what I think. Guys, so we'll go in later, but here's St. Patrick's Cathedral. Eat, Treen says, eat, drink, and confess. Yes. Perfect. In that order. <laughs> So guys, it's a beautiful spring day here in New York. We feel so lucky to meet up with Joe Burgess and her family. It's so lovely to see them. After only corresponding through email and through, and through text, they're finally here. So we're gonna go right across the street, well, right through there where the, the shovel is. Or we could go in this, I think that, that we'll go in that way instead of the side entrance. I'm going to give you the lay of the land, guys. Guys, we're on 5th Avenue at 50th Street. This is the famous St. Patrick's Cathedral. Looking stunning in spring. Just, we're going to wait for the light and we're going to, we're going to go in and this way. So guys, here's the scene. We're on 5th Avenue with the oh. Burgess family. We're looking south, here, that's Saks Fifth Avenue, the one with all the flags. Yeah. This is looking west towards New Jersey, all our friends over there. And behind me is north, Fifth Avenue. Temperature's not bad, it looks gray today, and it, and it looked like it would be colder than it was. Oi! Nick G. <laughs> oh, hey, Nick G. In it. Not too bad, in it. What a big shovel. That's a big shovel. That's a big shovel. We need that for Hudson sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> that we could use with Hudson. She thinks it was you? Yeah. 
it's a beautiful spring display. So we're going to yeah. go straight down. So guys, this is where they usually install the Christmas tree, right down here, down this corridor. Prep, prep. Do you, did you uh, show everyone that um, the, there's no window? There must be redoing the windows at Saks. I know. I see that. No windows right now at Saks. They're all denuda. Totally blank. Hey, yo, Ange, Jack Rab. The tour from across the pond. You got it. Let's head down in there. This is, of course, Rockefeller Center. There's top of the rock up there. So let's go. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, All right, guys. Go. Off we go. We got a special treat. Not only are we going to explore Rockefeller Center, but we're actually going to eat at Rockefeller Center. They've developed a new food area with, guess what? Hudson's favorite food. Oh, my God. Look at this Easter display. Oh. Oh, guys. Look how cute. But Rockefeller Center has opened up what usually would be surrounding their uh, ice skating rink to a, like a food court. So that's where we're headed, guys, with Hudson to get his famous food pizza. Look at this, John D. Rockefeller, 1874 to 1960, founder of Rockefeller Center. Wow. Yeah. So there looks like they're constructing a roller rink. So I'm not sure where we have to go because it said rink level for our... James, I'm going to have to figure out where to go because they're doing some sort of construction down here. We have to get our way inside in there. Oh, I think we have to enter that way. Over there. Yeah. Oh, what breed is Hudson? Hudson is an American Staffordshire Terrier. An American Staffordshire Terrier. Look at this, I love New York, isn't this great? Here's Joe and family. There was a hot dog up on the shelf, Hudson missed it. Oh no. But it didn't look like, it looked like um, dodging. Oh. I didn't know they had music. Yeah, a lot of music. Oh, look. So this is where they usually set up the Christmas tree. And they have the ice skating rink. But it looks like they're setting up a roller rink now. This is a new thing. They're, they're constructing it now. Paint? Yeah. Like... Like, yeah. like, I have paint on my shirt now. Like it's not gonna come off? So I think we have to go through here, guys. And then down the escalator. Right. Watch out for the pigeon. Yeah, we get lots of them in London. Yeah. Is that called a butt? They have a special exhibit here, the Flag Project. Yeah, that would be fun to go roller skating. So they're setting up a roller rink. Do you see that? Odd, right? So we're going to go through here, and then it's in the downstairs level right by the rink. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess normally they, you, they let you eat outside, but um, I guess they're making the rink now, so it's okay. We'll... Oh, I had to show everyone this grand entrance. Hold on, guys. Look at this. The escalator of life, follow me, exactly. Look at this stunning art deco. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So guys, let's, without further ado, poor Joe Burgess and family are very hungry. Yeah, let me go in, let me go in this door for James. 
No, you gotta go through around. Okay. Around I'm gonna push it and then you'll go through, okay? Yeah. Hold on, guys. So I had to find out where we would go. Down the escalator over here. Oh, okay. Fine. Guys, look at this. Look at the so beautiful this is mural. The Trump if you go on the other side, he's leaning away from you. It's a Trump Lloyd. And then you come back over here, and he's leaning the other way. Stairs to restaurant. Yeah, we are. Um, this is it, the concourse shops. Guys, this is where we're going there's to. An there's a down escalator over there. Yeah, if let's you want to take the, you want to take the escalator? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now wait, wait, wait. Look. He's leaning away from us. Wait, hold on, guys. Guys, see the guy up there on the pillar? He's leaning away from us. Now we're gonna go over to the other side. I'll hold Hudson, you show And he's me. gonna be leaning. Come on over to the escalator. Okay. He's gonna be leaning away from us again. Here he's leaning in the center. This is Rockefeller Center. Now he's in the center. And now you come back over here. And he's leaning away from us. So no matter where you are, he's always leaning away from you. Oh, wow. The guy in the center. That's amazing. All right, here we go. Here's the escalator down, I hope. Yes. Here. I'll take huts. Oh, there you go. You I'm going to take the stairs. Gotcha. You Got guys it. take the escalator. Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take the stairs with Hudson. James is taking the escalator with the Burgess family. There they are, right there. There they are. OK, Internet's doing well. Up oh, here we are at the le le ice skating rink level. For the pizza place. Shops and dining this way and that. Wow, they're really pumping the music. It's, it's, uh, it's confusing, guys. But look, see, we're down here in the lower level where the ice skating rink would be, and now they're constructing a roller rink. Yeah, we're not doing too well internet-wise, but do we... Should you, should, uh, should you, you want to wait here and I'll like... need the pizza. Look at this. Look at look at how he's walking. Have you ever seen this before? Look at how he's painting. He's painting on stilts. Wow, they have this all under construction and it's very there's no signs of where where to go or where the pizza would might be. There's, there's food, bread, and we're looking for a pizza anywhere. Good. James went. He, we've, we've lost him. He went. To Do you know which way is the, the pizza place? It's over here. That, to the right? Aces, yeah. Okay, thank you. Guys, I, I found... That was
this. This is the. Cr I've never. It's it's crazy. It's he's a stilt walking painter. Jesus <laughs> pizza. All right, trans. I'm gonna go quick. Go quickly. James, I think we lost internet. Okay. We might have to start over. Guys, this is very odd. There's no place to eat. They, they have all these hallways. Everything seems like it's under construction. We found the pizza place that's hidden in the is concourse level. Yes, we're, we're still streaming. Okay. This so is called get, uh... Aces Pizza. But where can we eat it? Did you want to get it and go up top side? Yeah, and then we can eat where? I guess by the ice skating rink. Because they're supposed to have had outdoor dining by the rink. rink but that yeah. that plan got. See, this place at least has a has a. a a sit down area. Yeah. We need to sit down someplace. So what should we do? What would be the best thing to do? Get a pizza and take it take it. I guess outside. Ask the ask a, guys, what would you wanna do? Get this and eat it outside. Right. Originally the thought was well, these are these are the pictures I saw on the internet, is that they had all these outdoor tables set up outside um what do you think do you think we can sit in there get something right, also little, from in there yeah. i think outside might be better so then we can get it in a pizza box and then we'll bring it upstairs guys we're figuring out the logistics of this you know it's 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 a little complicated but we we got it we we got it so let's go look at the menu i think that's most important I like the retro styling, Aces Pizza. So they have Detroit style and they have, let me see what's this all about. It's Detroit style, which is like a, a, a rectangle or the grandma thin style. So have you guys ever had Detroit style pizza? It's a thick, it's like a, a pan pizza. Do you have one to show? She's, she's from the UK, she's never seen. Um, so they make them in a, they make them in a pan. Now they also have the grandma style. No, but we're a whole, we're, we're one, two, three, five, five people. I think we can handle a, I think we can handle a pie. Um, no, no, that's New York style. This is, this is special, but the grandma is a little bit thinner. Would you prefer that as, a, as opposed to a deeper dish one? Let's ask. So these are, these are our choices. This isn't New York style pizza. There's either Detroit style, which is ba basically a thick pan, or we can get the thinner grandma style, um, which James and I have, and it's very, very, very nice. It's not quite as thick, but it's not gonna be round. It's still gonna be squared off, but it's not gonna be nearly as thick. Because the other one's kind of like thick, thick like a cake. Right, see this is the, the they, they make them in these, I I just, she's confused, you know, the old grandma, I'm gonna show her. See the whole, this is the deep dish. Oh yeah. Wow, that's the deep dish. Right, but they have a thinner one, would you prefer that? So we'll go whatever, whatever is easier for you to eat. I don't know. Just one of each. One, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a grandma, um, a large grandma, what, we'll do the mozzarella, tomato sauce, and basil. We'll get a, the, the grandma thin style. The red one, yes. The, no, no onions on it, but just the mozzarella, tomato sauce, and basil, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That sounds good. And did you, did you want to also try a slice of the Detroit style to, to compare it? Why we're a business. Right, that's what they that's what they specialize in. But we, 
but the thin style might be easier for everyone to eat. But we'll 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 take one for the team and we'll we'll try a we'll try the aces. <sighs> now they have because we'll just do a, like a personal one of that, just a smaller one. You know, do a little. We'll do a, like a little taste test. Sounds like fun, right? Okay. We got a, the, a, a whole pie of the grandma thin style, the top one. And then we're getting a personal eight inch of cheese of the Detroit style. Unless you guys wanted some toppings on it. No, okay. <laughs> and, and, then, uh, and then two more waters as well. We can all, we can, you know, we can't have enough water, right? <laughs> Guys, we're Aces Pizza. They started in Williamsburg, and our friends actually designed the signage for their Williamsburg spot. The signage is really, really beautiful. We'll have to go visit their Williamsburg store. Oh, so this is... No, no, we could... I, I got it. Yeah, I got it. This is... She's, they, they don't have all these things in the UK. She's from the UK. She's not used to all the, the card readers and the, yeah. I love your <sighs> Yeah, don't you love her accent? It's the best, right? So guys, this is, this is what they're doing. They're making a grandma. Oh, he's making it right now? Is that ours? Oh, can I show it? Is it okay? The process? Our friends are the ones who designed the signage for your Williamsburg store. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's <laughs> at, uh, at Noble Signs. Yep. Guys, look at them go. Oh, it looks amazing. So in the oven it goes. And you wanted the Detroit, right? Yes, and then what? Yes, and then look at that. In the that one's already that was already made, but there it goes. It's going to go in the oven now. That's a Detroit style. All right, so we gotta wait for it to cook, guys. We'll wait outside while it's cooking. See, this is their this is their Williamsburg store. Wow, they got they got music up the wazoo everywhere here. Look, you hoo That's awesome. Yeah. Chocolate look at, soda. Look at Hudson yeah, waiting I haven't for his pizza. Forever. Look at guys. Wait, James, you have to show this. They made a strawberry Yoohoo that was just oh. Look at it. Yoohoo, guys. Hudson. Hudson Pizza, guys. We're getting pizza. Thank you, Joe. Joe is treating us to pizza. Oh, thanks, Joe. And Hudson. Guys, they've been on a plane for, what was it, like 42 hours. <laughs> 42 the plane was delayed like 18 hours. They got in at like 4 a.m. We showed up at 5 a.m. James is exaggerating. You know, I came in the, I, I knocked on the hotel room, it was unlocked. I came in, they were all sleeping. Hudson jumped up on the bed, upset everything. And here we are. Everybody's. We watched him make, his, we watched him make the pie. Oh, he did? Yeah, he made it oh, wow. just for us. And it's in the oven now. Right. And I have, also, I have a water for you and for me. Good. Do you need one now? Um, no, I'll have, have it out some, there. Do you still have some left? Okay. Right. Right. The Yoohoo is great. I love Yoohoo. I didn't and like this. They right made back. a strawberry one, which wasn't that good. Yeah. It was like um, Pepto Bismol. Oh, you know, for your tummy. Uh, yeah. Bright pink. Yeah. 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 It was terrible. The chocolate's the way to go. So, James, we're also getting the personal 8 inch of the Detroit style. Good. You know, because we're going to do a little comparison. Yeah, we'll do a comparison. It's science. Oh, yeah, ice skates. Yeah, the Seinfeld restaurant. Here, go show them. I'm going to hold Hudson. Hudson's very, very strong. He is. And he smells pizza. Guys, look what's up on the wall. Monk Steiner from Seinfeld. You know, it's Tom's restaurant. Pink is the most soothing color for your stomach, exactly. 
So guys, we're in Aces Pizza. This is their Rockefeller Center concourse location. Their main location is in Williamsburg. We'll visit that as well. But we came to their Rockefeller Center location because we wanted because we wanted to bring Joe Burgess and her family here because they're staying like basically almost across the street yeah, at the like Lot Palace. Now look at look, most away. importantly. Look at Hudson, guys. He's waiting for his pizza. Look at this. And these chocolate chip cookies, I think. Oh, oh. Come here, guys. Wait till you smell what's going on over here. What is the chip? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, look at it. It's like the sponge cake. Oh, my God. Look at these chocolate chip cookies. You know, in campaign. Oh, my God. They smell good. Wow, those are huge. It's like a cake. Chip City, special. Chip City. These are the most adorable looking like graphics on the wall. A one way ticket for Chip City. <laughs> oh, they're huge. Yeah, but you know, slices and ices is just too far to walk. You know, um, they're starving, and we we thought about going to Vito's Slices and Ices, but that's all on all the way on on 36th Street Seven and 9th slept. Avenue. They haven't Since slept. Last Thursday. You know, they didn't sleep much. They just got in late last night and they're exhausted. So first priority was to get food pronto. So pronto it will be. Look at those little guys on the tablecloth, the red and white checks. Look at those little guys. I know, isn't it cute? This is the great this is a noble signs did of this. They did all the signage for them. I know, I love it. All the signage was done. It, it was done by our friends uh, David and Mac at Noble Signs. Yeah, we're gonna get a seat. We're gonna get a seat for them. Do you want to sit down inside here while we wait for the pizza to cook? Would that be easier for you? I'm sure that you could take a seat for a little while at least. Yeah. Oh wait, I think I'll be, they, I had a seat for you. <laughs> yeah. Just because they're cooking, they're making the pizza, so it'll take a few minutes. I'll come get you when it's ready. Mike Landry just sent us $5 Canadian, says hello James, Carla, and Hugh, Hugh Hudson. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, because I didn't want her to stand so long, you know, while they're cooking the pizza. Of course, I found her a nice seat here, and, and, I'm, and she's ready to sit, and somebody snatches it away. Snatches it away. That's in New York. You know, He said, if you balance it like this, we'll be good. Oh, there's napkins in there and everything already? Oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. You guys rock. Thank you. All right, guys, Ace's Pizza. Oh my God, Joe, you got your hands full. Oh my God. Look at Joe, look at, she's got the pizza. All right, we gotta keep, oh my God, look at Hudson, look at Hudson's nose. All right, let's go get Joe's mom. We're ready guys, pizza is ready. James, do you think we're better off going outside this way? No. Will there be more seats that way? Because I didn't see any seats when we were going out when we came in. You know, this does this take us to a different end? Maybe there's more seating this way. Oh, let me ask him where would be best because he said there's, there would be seating. Okay. 
Which way do you think we should leave that would be best to find seating? Because we came out through the main entrance and there was nothing. Oh, th definitely that way. Okay, thank you. He's saying definitely this way. Definitely. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we got to keep Hudson away from the pizza because we don't want right, we don't want Joe to drop the pizza because Hudson jumps because that's as a distinct possibility. It's heavy, right? <sighs> it will be an experience, right? Navigating the uh, confusion. Get it, Jimmy? Okay. Of Rockefeller Center to find some place where we can sit and eat. See, we're not allowed to go that way. Now, which way do we come from? Here? I'm confused now. We can't go out that way. Oh, wait, there he is. Wait, she's on stilts too. Oh my God, there's so many talented people with the stilts. I can't believe it. They're like, they're, they're like circus workers. It's amazing. Wait, I have a question for you. Stilts, before you learned how to paint or after you learned how to paint? Ah. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're going to try to find, oh, okay, James, I think this way. Okay. Because that's where everyone else is going. Okay. Yeah, D DJ, I did ask them, but he's saying that he didn't. It's, I said, hablo piquito, I said. This is a maze in here, guys. I, I don't want to get too lost. I want to find out where we can go to find seating, and it's very confusing. Okay. Do you think we can find a way out this way? I don't know. This is not the way we came in. No. Guys, this is very confusing. Okay, I found an exit sign. Guys, this is this is this is like the maze, the maze of the concourse level of Rockefeller Plaza. Danette and Anthony said my question was very good, and they would love to know the answer. Did they learn how to paint first, or did they learn how to walk on stilts first? Exit to Fifth Avenue. Escalator, okay. this way. Rockefeller Center, that way. Where can we find seating to eat outside? This okay. way? Okay. Uh, Guys, okay. this is very confusing. We did find the bathrooms, though. This is very good. So we did locate the bathrooms. Now, it's always very good to find where the bathrooms are located. Yeah, I think those are blocked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what happened? The mutiny. Guys, we're losing, a, we're losing part of our party here. What is this place? This is called Bill's. It's a burger place. I think that's a chain. This is very confusing, James. When can we, when can we leave? How do we get out of here? I think we take the elevator. Oh, I don't, I'm never going to be able to take the elevator, James. Okay. Escalator is out of service. Please use elevator. So where are they going? Oh, here's an escalator. No, no, this is a down escalator. James, why don't you take the elevator? I'm gonna go up the up the up the. Yeah, I'm gonna run up. Guys, I'm running up the down escalator because I can't take the elevator because the internet will cut out. So I'm doing this for you guys. The escalator is broken. That goes up. 
So I am walking up the down escalator because I don't have a choice. The, the, the up escalator is broken and there's no stairs. And I, I can't take an elevator. So I'm forced to walk up this very fast. Careful. Oh God, I was trying my best. I know, but I can't take elevators. Is there a stair? Okay, they won't let me take this. I did my best, guys. I almost fell for you. Guys, this is so confusing. This is absolutely nuts. There has to be, is there a staircase this way? Yes. Perfect. Guys, I found a staircase. Oh, thank God. Guys. I found a staircase, oh, thank God. The escalator is broken, but I found a staircase. Oh my God. Guys, I almost fell trying to walk up. Do not walk up an, uh, an escalator. Okay, so I found myself. I don't even know where I am. All right. This is very confusing. I don't know where I'm gonna find James. Oh my God, I made it out. Oh my God. I got my car here watching Carla go the, 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 the Exactly, guys. I didn't know. I couldn't know if I could find a staircase again. I had to find James and everyone else. I have no idea where they are. Huh? I don't know where they could be. I hope that they look on their phone, and I can find them. Uh, I'm going to go back to where I entered from and hopefully find them. Guys, this is the most confusing thing that's ever, ever, that's ever happened. It's very bizarre. I managed to walk the whole length. Guys, this, it's a maze in there. It's very confusing. I almost fell, as you saw. I, I, I gained my, then I got yelled at, of course, because one should not be walking up the down escalator. So that was, that was oh, totally my fault because I was doing something obviously I shouldn't be. All right, maybe they're on the opposite side. I'm going to go back where we came in. Maybe I'll find them. I have no idea where the, where they ended up, but I couldn't go in the elevator because then certainly the internet would cut out. So for you guys, I'm taking the long tour of Rockefeller Plaza. Sorry I'm not reading the chat messages. I'm just searching for James and Joe Burgess and her whole family. Mom, dad. I have no idea where they would be. Oh, I found James. There he is. James, I had to go all the way around. You came out down there somewhere. A little, a little north of here. And I came out over there on the opposite side because right. I tried to go up the up escalator. Right here. So oh, oh my God, guys. Yeah. That was ridiculous. A ridiculous maze, but we, it's all worked out in the end. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I went up the, oh. I went up the up, I went up the down escalator and then I got yelled at at the top and she oh. wouldn't let me get off. So I had to go back down the, the escalator. Wow. 
and then go around the other side and find stairs. So, yeah, we're all okay. We're all we together. Came out north of here. There's still snow on the ground up there. Right, you you were in Maine. We were up there somewhere. In Maine. Okay. All right, so let's hook Hudson up. Okay, so hold on, guys. Wait for us here. Here we go. Yeah, but we're gonna have um, uh, you know, um, plates and everything anyway. So we're, we'll be good. Look at this architecture, guys. Here we are. The r skating rink is right over here behind this SUV. That's a skating rink. What am I looking for? Oh, the gimbal thing. So yeah. Eat. Yeah. At least we got we have enough seats. That's good. Yeah. For all of us. Yeah. You're gonna sit. Um, I'm gonna sit here. You're gonna sit here. Okay. Because then I get behind you and I don't have to. Guys, give us a second. We're setting up our table. And I'm gonna sit there. Yeah. Because then I'll get behind. You know. Why don't it's a I nice hook? View. Why don't I hook Mr. Hudson up? Yeah. Why don't we get another? Seat? Yeah. There we go. Do you want to put, take your bat off and put it in a seat? Yeah, I'm going to put it right on the seat and then Hudson can be tied up right there. Excellent. Oops, Wait, what are we showing here? God knows what. I don't know, this is Hudson's. <laughs> there you go. I think that's a plane. Do you want to sit on a jacket? Yeah. There we go. Hold on. There's Hudson. <laughs> That's what's causing the ruckus, guys. Everybody. Is that, is that oh, what a pretty view. Okay, so the unveiling. Here we go, guys. Oh, oh my god, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at all that cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's shocking. I've never seen a piece of that It's weird, right? But James, he's going to no, just pull that table. Oh, just tie him around my leg. Should I tie him to this table? No, that's fine. There's for you. Or is this for us? We don't know. Oh, that's the deep dish one? This one? That's, okay. a, that's the Detroit style. They don't look convinced. Welcome aboard, guys. 80 and Pang saying extra extra there. cheese. They're very there. patient okay. people, April. That's perfect. Especially considering the jet lag and all that. All right, so we, Hudson, we, we're going to get hand sanitizer. Hold on. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, just stick them under the box or else they're going to go floating away. Oh, that's in the other bag, James. Yep. Watanabe, Watanabe. Carla's trying to... She... Find where she is right now. Here I am. We came out way up north of here. People were in snowshoes and. They didn't give us any utensils. Oh. Oh, you're just gonna have. Oh man. Yikes. I can go in search of some. Oh no. No, you. You'll never come back. She'll never come back. Carly, you don't have enough water and supplies to go look for. For utensils, Why don't so. we use this as a cutter? Yeah, we could do. What is that thing? Well, they did a lot of Mexican cutter in the rolls. I think I think we need a fork and a knife. Chop down for a second while I well, there's search a, one. There's a cafe. There's a cafe around the corner, hun. Honey, in the inside the van. There's like a van, hun. Like a coffee shop that's in like a van. It was right there. I saw it. Yeah, tough. Pizza. Yeah. Guys, I don't know about this pizza. There we go. It's square. <laughs> yeah, that's what we usually have. But there are things called um, Sicilian and Grandma pies that are square. In Detroit Square also. I think that's a Detroit one. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Carla's gonna come back with a knife or something. Tire iron. Carla's got a tire iron. She's got 
What is that? That's a, a some sort of stick. A coffee syrup. Oh. But, okay, the napkins are going everywhere. Got, how do you look at the pizza's kind of um on Yeah, a little strange. Okay. But this doesn't look bad over here, huh? That looks pretty good. Guys, we're here in Rockefeller Center. Burgess family. Just arrived last night. James, All right, Sanders, it's an adventure. Your plate fell on the ground, so we're gonna, this is a new plate. Okay? okay. I'm going to cut a piece with this. <laughs> okay? Yeah, give me this end one without much cheese here. That's, how is it? <laughs> I don't know. So guys, this is, what is this, Ace's this is, Pizza? This is Ace's Pizza. This is their grandma style. I don't know if it's a shining moment for them, but. Of course, he would love it. Wait, James, Hudson's getting a piece of pizza. Okay. Oh, oh he loves it. The temperature inside, Ace's gets a C minus for leaving us high and dry without utensils, okay? I would agree with that. Ed Paquet, Carla's cutting it with coffee stirs. There are the coffee stirs. Okay. It was about 107 degrees in the concourse level. concourse level. Out here now, it feels like it's 30 because of the difference. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Going in. <laughs> I'm going to unzip because I, I foresee a lot of sauce. Smells dynamite, though. <laughs> it smells really good. That yeah. being said, here we go. Yes, ready, this guys? is one strange pizza experience, Jack Rabbit. <laughs> here we go. Going in. <laughs> Thanks to them. Well, oh, I don't know no. about that. <laughs> no. Not extra good. The, everything has become... This was just eating dough with cheese on it. It had no sauce. So I had to eat, then have the sauce. The oh. sauce tastes good, but... Presentation is poor. Present, would you agree? Presentation is quite poor. Yeah. And what happened was the sauce fell Substandard. off Substandard, yeah. And I only got basically cheese, and it was e like eating cheese and pizza. Yeah. I mean, cheese and dough. And, um, you got the hands? No, I don't. Okay. So, I think I'm going to try the sauce part again. But, I i mean, I've eaten New York pizza my whole life. And it doesn't matter if it's hot from the oven. Mm. It shouldn't get so messy when carrying it. They should have waited to cool before slicing it. Because they sliced it too early and then it made a big mess. Yeah. That's my... Ollie Rogers said it. Hudson will clean it up so it's no work. Exactly. So I'm going to give Hudson a piece of the, the cheesy part, which was just like, see, there's no... There's nothing to it. There's, There's no, no sauce, sauce on there. On it. So, what kind of pizza is that? Right, because the, the, the sauce fell off this section. So guys, we're in Rockefeller Center So, with the Burgess family. You guys are from where in England? Boylington. Boylington. Near, London. Near London. We've been to London a few times. Had a fun, wonderful time. One time we took a boat over. But and then we Hudson. took a bus from Southampton to London. James, the bus was kind of funny because when we showed up, the bus was getting just getting ready to leave. We were about 10 minutes so uh, until they leave. So I'm going to Detroit style because this is what they're known for. I don't need the pepper. I'm going to take a little square of this, which seemingly also doesn't have any sauce on it. So what is that stuff? This is their Detroit style pizza. This is what they're known for. Oh, yeah? And... That, I mean, that's what they're calling it, huh? I, I don't like that there's no sauce on there's it. There's a Detroit Pizza's place this down on 23rd Street, Detroit Slices. There's no sauce. Remember Detroit Lions, See? Tigers, and Slices? And the Detroit pie is great. Guys, this is just a big mess. It is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to call it like it is. I don't recommend getting the Guys, pizza go ahead. Here. You could say it. I don't recommend go. getting the pizza here. It's just a big mess. Um, I mean, maybe it would taste better if it was all together, but it's become 
my slice is mainly sauce, so it's not so bad. Right, but I got just pizza. It's I just uh, got cheese and dough. And my slice went from 80 degrees to 20 degrees. <laughs> Cold. I mean, you know, I'm not a fan. I have to be honest, Vito Slices and Ices is like, there is no comparison. Vito Slices and Ices is a 10 plus, and this is but about... But that's over on 9th Avenue. Right. This so is, there's no way. This is too far a walk for you guys. That's the, our favorite pizza place in all of New York. Um, but I would walk there for it rather than have Hudson's this. hungry, honey. Give him a little bit. I will. This doesn't make any sense to me. Like the way it is. A very um, shabby presentation. Showing. For their first pizza in New York right now. Right. I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, actually. Because it shouldn't be like this. This isn't like a, a fair representation of how pizza should be. See, like, you know, it all fell around one another. Yeah. Yeah. They should have let it cool before slicing it. I mean, we weren't in a rush. We were waiting and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It, it would be different if we said, oh, just give it to us. But they should have said, oh, no, you know, um, we need to let it cool if that was even the case. But I didn't. I didn't rush them at all. I mean, they don't give us any utensils. The thing is all congealed together. How are you supposed to even get it apart? They knew we were going to eat outside. So all in all, uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. Price-wise, it was $26 for this pie. Oh, my God. Um, which is around... Is around Fair for New York Can pizzas. I try one of these little pieces? Right. Well, now, let me try the other style pizza. Right, but again, there's no sauce on it. Yeah. The sauce is all in that. Guys, we slice. went to a place on 23rd Street James, watch with this type of pizza. Yeah, I know. I got it all over me. And um, it was very, very good. And it does not look like this at right. all. This is not what Detroit pizza looks like. Just so you know. Right. And this is not a grandma slice. Vito's Ice Cream Slices not. has the best grandma pie ever. We had their grandma pie. And it was about the same price. I think maybe $27 yeah. for theirs. This is like an Olive Garden breadstick right now. Yeah, this is not... You, you guys got, got shortchanged on the New York pizza experience. Even though this is not New York-style pizza, we're still in New York, so we have standards. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Terrible showing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. Th this slice perhaps looks better. The slices the with the sauce. When you agree, the sauce without the cheese is pretty good. But that's not pizza, though. Yeah, but the sauce is nothing compared to Vito's. That's like talking about a hot dog and, and you say, well, the bun is pretty good. Yeah, but compared to Vito's slices and slices, the sauce is nothing. Nothing, no. I'm sorry. I have to. I mean, I, I just call it like it is. I love independently owned pizza places, and this is one of them. This is independently owned. It's it's newly opened here in Rockefeller Center, but I, I, I give it a D on presentation. 362 saying even Hudson doesn't look like he enjoys it that much. Yeah, so could I cut another slice for you guys as best I can? Do you want to try this corner? I'll, I'm gladly cutting it for you. No. Company is excellent. The company is excellent. Let's see if I can... I don't even know where one starts and one ends, but... I'm using the utensil that you know I that I made for this. Look at these guys; they're really going in on it. You need a hedge clipper. Oh, God. oh Jesus! Oh God. Joe, Joe, point, point. get it onto your plate. You need a chainsaw. <laughs> get it onto your plate. Yeah, I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know. I mean, Carla didn't push Hudson. Hudson is gonna. Oh, Dino is saying go back in and complain. Uh, I can't find it. <laughs> no, I know where you go. You go down the escalator. I know. Why don't you run back, Carla? But what, 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 I mean, what are they going to do? Make another one for us? Yeah, hedge Sorry. clipper. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they get, they, they don't get, um, they don't get a portograph. Put it that way. I, I can't even, I can't even give, I, I'll just give Hudson some cheese. Because yep. I can't even slice it to give Hudson a piece. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it's that's tough. about the size of it. Yeah. Well, Alex, you know, at least you got the. My visually, this looks better. This piece. But, oh, Juan Nabi, Juan well, Nabi saying. You, sh Carla, Juan Nabi, Juan Nabi saying you should go back and get a voucher for the Brooklyn place for Hudson. I mean, why don't you? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is a mess. All right, <laughs> but the sauce is pretty good. No, the sauce is okay. It's okay. You're being you're being generous, James. Yeah, everyone in the the, the sauce is really is 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 not. That we're getting uh, lemons out of lemonade comments. Flavor, flavorful compared to Vito's ices and slices. Even to, Grim, I would be ashamed. Someone said. Right. We we have to be honest Yuri about I. it. We can't be nice just because it's family owned. Yeah, just you know, take them to, to Joe's. Honest, right. Yeah, and that there's no Joe's around here. No, not uh, Times Square. Yeah. Yeah. There's. I mean, this is, it's a, it's a sad showing. And I would never have gotten a whole pie had I known it looked like this. I mean, like, look at us. We're, we're one, two, three, four, five, six people, and we can't even finish this. But well, we don't want it. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not that we can't. It just doesn't even make any, any sense. <laughs> I mean, Hudson would try to finish it, but I mean, it's not, it's not particularly good for Everybody's him. Everybody's saying, so don't much. send Carla back in there. You'll never come out. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't, I don't think you want me to, to, to go in there. I, I wouldn't be uh, very... I'll, I'll, um, I'll uh, message them. I'll message them about the experience. They can, they can see it for themselves. They can watch the video. This, this was a very poor presentation. Yeah. I'm flummoxed. Yeah. Here. Okay. Should take an overview. Do a drone shot at a pizza. <laughs> Do a drone shot. Guys, Hudson doesn't care. These pieces look okay because that these pieces still have sauce on them. The first pizza that I tried didn't even have any sauce on it. But, I mean, now it's freezing cold. So that, that already is making it not taste very good. I'm going to put this in here. As much as I like pizza and Hudson likes pizza, I, 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 I'm at a loss of what to do with yeah, it. I think, I think... I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I, I think we have to say goodbye to this pizza, guys. Ace's Pizza was um, a big... Um, it's for the birds. <laughs> it's for the birds. It's not, even, it's not even worthy of Hudson. That's all I have to say. Ace's was not an ace for us today. Look at poor Hudson. He's like, but the, the, the pizza. The pizza rats will like it. We'll tuck it in the garbage. And... Yeah. I am sorry, guys. This was an utter, utter, utter disappointment. I've never been so embarrassed by a New York pizza. Yes. I mean, it's it, it's completely embarrassing. A chorus of sad trombones and a pizza. Guys, I'm, I'm That's what it is. bring this to the garbage. Yeah. Give it a proper burial. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it treats 62. That's okay. The pigeons and rats will. So, guys, thanks for hanging out. Here's this. Oh, my God. And uh, I'm sure they want to get in that. Yeah. After that delicious meal. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys. I am so sorry. I feel so terrible. They have a storefront in Brooklyn. It's really good. Right. They We're going to have to make here. it up to you and take you or we'll to a proper... A, we'll send the pizza to the hotel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a, a proper pizza. Look, look, even Hudson is embarrassed. Look at this. Oh, he's giving the please paw. Oh, he's like, oh, guys. He's like, don't, don't, don't give up on New York pizza. Please don't. Please don't. It's my favorite thing in the world. So, guys, you walk back to the hotel? we're gonna walk back. back. Yeah, yeah, what? And back. Back. yeah, we're gonna walk right back. <laughs> right, and we can always, if you want, we can always uh, uh, stop in at at um, the um, 
St. Patrick's. So you could do that another day because it's right across from your hotel. Yeah, you guys probably need a nap. We're gonna walk them back to the hotel, guys. Feel like we came all the way here for you. I thought it would be fantastic. I thought, first of all, that we were going to be able to eat around by the edge of the uh, I said, I said. the whole thing. So here we are. I'm gonna grab grab the people. You don't want the jacket? No, I'm warm now. Here we go. Yeah, I got Hutch. I'm going to grab my water. Yeah. And guys, we're at Rockefeller Center. It's an experience. It was, uh, it, 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 it was an experience we won't forget. But look at this, guys. Rockefeller Center, if you're hungry, do not go to Ace's Pizza. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Yes, we'll have to get them Vito's. I totally, totally, totally agree with you. Vito's ices and slices. We will get them Vito's ices and slices. And their, their New York pizza experience will be uh, fulfilled. Now, literally, we're right down the block from Radio City Music Hall. You could see the signage just down the street. Ace isn't the place, Yuri A is saying. Exactly. Guys, I, I'm so sorry. That was extremely disappointing. I threw a little piece to a pigeon, and he spit it at me. Yeah. They're they're being they're being they're being good sports and saying it wasn't the end of the world. <laughs> but it was the end of the pizza world for Hudson. Pizza, Hudson has pizza standards. I mean, I'd have, to, I'd have to honestly say that I enjoyed um, one of those uh, dollar slice places sometimes even more. Oh, for sure. Yes. Oh, not even close. Right. James, I want to just zip up. Yeah. I mean, the pigeon I threw a little bit to, spit it out and, and said he was going to give me a smack in the head if I keep that up. So where the hell do you think you are? Oh, God, guys. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little zipped on like you need to zip up now, right? Yeah, it was cold. It was hot down in the bottom. It was warm in the concourse, and now it's chillier. Oh, my God. Uh, we, I feel so badly. So, guys, here's St. Patrick's. The doors, doors are flung open looking beautiful. This will be a good story to tell in the next few years. That is a bold non-endorsement. Ace is not the helpful place indeed. Exactly. I mean, I, I, I mean, I have to tell it like it is. You know, I'm not going to say, well, we enjoyed it when we didn't. You know, we have to be, we have to be honest. I, I would not go, go there again. No. Avoid. And it wasn't like, you know, they were, it was free or something, like giving it away. Yeah. But guys, we're all about positivity. So we're moving on and we're showing the beauty of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Gorgeous, right? Keeping a stiff upper lip. Yes. After their goose chase. The true British way. They 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 are yeah. they they are just keeping the stiff upper stiff lip. Stiff upper lip. They're gonna weep openly when they get back to their room. Gonna let it all out. Let 
Look at that, guys. Treen62 said the pizza cook needs to go to confessional. Yes, <laughs> three Hail Marys, three Our Fathers. You know what? I was encouraged when he was making it. It looked like it could be good, but I guess it's just like, I don't know whether they just didn't let it cool off properly and like everything just kind of, but like I said, let's not even dwell on that. Yeah, we're moving, we're moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> Irene Riva said um, it was entertaining, though. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You always have to look at the positive. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> right, James? Yeah, you bet. Now, this is the beautiful... See, they're, they're, they're redoing the outside. This is the beautiful Lot New York Palace Hotel, as you can see, where we, showed the, where we started our live stream. But they're, they're redoing the exterior of the mansion. It was built as uh, Mr. Villard's mansion. In fact, um, I, have a, I was going to talk about the, the history of the place, but we got so sidetracked with all the food and everything like that, that I didn't even get to talk about it. But let me, let me get some of my factoids. Oh, go ahead. The, it's a mansion designed in a grand scale to appear to be a cluster of brownstone houses and it was constructed in 1882. You can't really see the outside too well because they're renovating it. They're renovating the exterior now. But the, in the interior, which we showed you guys, was stunning. Absolutely stunning. Partly Cloudy said, I'm here for the hotel tour. <laughs> well, we can show you the lobby again. And then, of course, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure they want to get uh, washed up and, 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 and rest up a little bit, Joe and, um, Joe and her family. But we'll, 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 show you the, we'll show you the lobby a little bit before they, they, they head back upstairs to their room. Yeah. Okay. James is going to wait outside because he has the, he has the door go. <sighs> Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Joe, Joe and the family want to say goodbye to Hudson properly. <laughs> I'm going to follow you in for a second because they say, oh, they want to see some people just joining the chat. They want us to use the revolving doors, but we... we um, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's very friendly. <laughs> So this is the beautiful lobby. They're renovating the outside. So this, this is part of the mansion that was built for Henry Villard. And he was a financier, a railroad tycoon. So I'm not gonna show you the hotel, hotel, whole hotel because I did that at the beginning, but I'll just show you the gorgeous lobby right here. And then I wanna say goodbye to the, the so nice. before they go up to their room. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed, enjoyed uh, spending time with the Burgess family that came all the way from the UK. And we're sorry about the, the, the substandard pizza that we had, but we promised we we're gonna make it up to them and get them the quintessential New York pizza. So I'm gonna sign out. We're gonna, we're gonna go into cell Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Signing out.